Um, a big question, well, big topic at the moment, security and compliance, right? Um, and I'm sure you're going to have many answers for this, but um, what, what, security you measures, <laughs> <laughs> what security measures are in place to protect data stored on HP GreenLake for block storage? What solution do HP have? Have you got an RFP uh, there or something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you just filling in an Excel I'm actually sheet? busy responding to it. Yeah, there while, we, while we're talking, believe it or not. <laughs> you've just got an, you've got an Excel spreadsheet there, haven't you? It just says, does, does the vendor do a yes encryption? <laughs> oh, well, do you know what? To, that question is interesting because what happens is it always means one thing to a particular customer. So, to, I, I again, let's buzzword ransomware. Yeah. Like, um, go cross that one off. But the customer will go, some people's security with it for them will mean um, immutability because sure. certain vendors have been shouting the word immutability for two or three years as if it's a golden, you know, solution for everything. Um, some people might just mean physical security. Like, uh, can I pull the drives out and still get access to the data? Sure. Uh, we're one of the only vendors that still uses SED, self encrypting drives. Um, that are FIP certified, for example, uh, in the in the MP solution. Now we're also looking at a software and encryption model um, because we've just released and uh, announced um, Electro MP in the cloud and AWS. And obviously, we can't go and stick hardware encry- self encrypting drives into AWS data centers; otherwise, we'll get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so there's that element that goes from there. So it really goes back into, and the RFP joke stands true here about what point they're trying to um, amend for. Are they looking for securities in physical security? Are they looking for securities in to avoid cyber attack? Um, which is a whole other conversation. Because, uh, we, for example, we have the sort of Zyber Vault solution that we've put together that's actually a, a cold site that sits in a rack that you can replicate to. So the problem is there, what are you trying to solve? Um, you've always got your certifications with regards to levels of compliance uh, with certain security, whether it be FedRAMP in America whether it just be um, FIPS in general or whether it be um, some of the cryptography standards, etc. So for me, if they go, is the array secure? I'll go, yes. But what are you worried about? What are you protecting against? Um, it's like DR. Disaster recovery means different things to different people. Sure. You know, in our world, disaster recovery for us is Zerto. That is a failover to a second site seamlessly to do something. But to a, another customer, a smaller customer, that might just be, can I restore a VM from a snapshot? Sure. And whenever I get asked that question, I always bounce back and go, right, what does what do you mean by security? What's your definition? You know, what are you going to score on the RFP? <laughs> you know, what are you looking for? Um, but it, yeah, f- it's it it carries over a lot of the features, um, hardware security wise, physical security wise. You know, if, if if we go in and physically pull those drives, you're not getting anything off them. Um, the uh, we have got immutability in the snapshots. We call it virtual lock, uh, but yeah, we can we we can address a lot of those. Um, and, uh, but yeah, well, the person who the person who sent that question in, just do me a favour and email him which bit of security you actually wanted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>